Hey, greetings, family. Pastor Jamal here. Just want to do a quick reminder. Um, I'm sure a lot of us know this, um, but there's always levels to, to knowledge. Um, I say that a lot. There's always levels to knowledge. You can hear a word, and for one season it means this, for other season it means that, and it means something else. So this is one of those moments where we're just reminded about something. I want to remind you about Jesus the Christ, Jesus Christ Yeshua, uh, which in his name just means salvation. It means salvation. So when we say um, uh, there's power in, in the name, when we say that uh, it's with the name of Christ that, you know, everything happens, demons tremble, all of, all, of, all of that good stuff. What that's pointing to, the name is the representation of, it's the flavor of the man, per se. It's the nature of, of God. Jesus is the nature of God. Christ Yeshua is the nature of God. It's God's personality. It's God's ways. So why is it power in Jesus's name? It's power in Jesus's name because when you decide that you're going to take on that name, you're going to take that nature. Jesus's nature, uh, it reveals and it offers us not only perspective, but it, it offers us a nature that is undeniable and is undefeatable. Is that a word? Undefeatable. Yeah, it's undefeatable. We cannot defeat the nature of Christ Jesus. We cannot because it's the nature of God. God has uh, no fear because God's nature knows that ultimately there's nothing that can destroy him. There's nothing that could overtake him. You have the same nature. You have the same quality if you believe it and if you decide to walk with it and walk towards it. So, in the you know, we're coming up on another year, um, which is going to get things are going to get a, a lot deeper. Um, we're, we're just entering into new territories that will ultimately lead us to a specific moment and you're going to need to, to to live and walk and act in the nature of Jesus in order to defeat your enemies that's that's the true beauty and the and the grace and the power of uh Jesus's name it's his nature so you think like God you speak like God you understand like God you discern like God you see you um you know you you move you have your being you live breathe and have your being like God that's the true treasure of the power of the name of Christ. I pray it's making sense and I pray that you decide today that I'm going to take steps towards being in that nature, living in that nature, thinking from that mind. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. That mind is the mind that offers you all salvation and all deliverance. And when I'm saying salvation as well, I'm saying you, you're, we're being saved from not only hellfire, but we're, we're being saved from every day impending danger. Sometimes the impending danger is the way you think. Sometimes the impending danger is when God is giving you something and you're not taking it because you don't recognize it or you're walking in fear, not realizing that what he's offering you is a deliverance, you know, into a next season. You know, maybe it's a promotion. Maybe it's a job idea. Maybe it's a, an idea, period, that's going to change the world. Who knows? But you have to decide today that that's the name that I'm going to use. And what you're saying is, is that's the nature that I'm going to become. Pastor Jamal, Rising Ground Church, I'll talk to you. Peace.